Here are some tricky ECG rhythms that you want to know. Supraventricular tachycardia, also known as SVT. This is a super fast rhythm that comes from above the ventricles. Wandering atrial pacemaker. This is where pacemaker signals wander around the atria between the SA node and eptopic foci slots. It's going to have a rate of between 60 to 100 beats per minute, and there's going to be three or more different P waves throughout the rhythm. Multifocal atrial tachycardia. It's very similar to wandering atrial pacemaker, except it has a rate of greater than 100 beats per minute. Again, look for three or more different P waves throughout the rhythm. Out the rhythm. Right bundle branch block. This is where electrical signals in the right bundle branch is blocked. Pay attention to V1. It's sometimes referred to as looking like rabbit ears or the letter M like here in this example. And look at V6 where the S wave is going to be wide and slurred. Left bundle branch block. This is where electrical signals in the left bundle branch is blocked. In V1 you'll have a deep diving S wave like this example. And in V6 the R wave can be tall, wide, and notched like this or it could look like this monophasic, tall, and wide. Premature ventricular contractions, PVCs. These are early signals that originate from the ventricles. Here's an example of bigeminy and trigeminy. With bigeminy, you have a PVC every second beat, and trigeminy, you have a PVC every third beat. Premature atrial contractions, PACs. These are early contractions that originate from a focal point in the atria rather than the SA node. Premature junctional contractions, PJCs. These are early contractions that originate from a focal point around the AV junction rather than the SA node. Sinus arrest slash pause. This is where the SA node fails to create electrical signals, which results in a temporary flat line on the ECG. And always remember to measure the pause. And then lastly, the junctional rhythms. The site of origin is from the AV junction, and they occur because the main pacemaker in the heart, the SA node, is too slow or not working. P wave position is the star of these rhythms. P wave can be hidden within the QRS complex so you can't see it, or it can be super close to the QRS complex in front of it, or behind the QRS complex. With junctional escape, you're going to have a rate of 40 to 60 beats per minute. Accelerated junctional, 60 to 100 beats per minute. Or junctional tachycardia, the rate will be greater than 100. And if you'd like to learn more about these rhythms, you can check it out in my ECG study guide and workbook on Amazon.com or shop.registernursrn.com.